Zach Yoder lead long range ex uh, expert Paul Pastelock. Paul, always appreciate your expertise, especially when it comes to something as volatile as severe weather. Let's dig in. What's that setup looking like as we head into the spring? Well, the setup is uh, looking a little bit sluggish to start off, uh, as you kind of talked about a little bit here just uh, in the last 30 seconds. But again, we are looking at a slower start, but it will pick up. Now, I can't rule out a couple of events here and there in the month of March, but look at the jet stream pattern. The two storm tracks, they're kind of separated out. Also, the water temperatures have been kind of up and down across the northern Gulf. They have come up over the last couple of days, but still this up and down behind systems is going to kind of keep things a little bit at bay. Just a few severe weather outlook, uh, outbreaks that could take place. But as the waters warm in the Gulf of Mexico and the jet streams start to come together a little bit over the middle of the country, that's when things start to take off, especially as we get into later April and May. I think that's the time period that Tornado Alley, Mid Mississippi Valley and all that ingredients comes together and we start to see the development uh, take place in, a, in, in more frequent outbreaks as well. On that note, Paul, you know, and I, I know when it comes to severe weather, a lot of our viewers really hone in on tornadoes, right? Like tornadoes are the headline. Everyone wants to hear about what happens when tornado season strikes. So what are we looking at when it comes to twisters this season? Well, as far as the tornadoes, uh, the, um, you know, when you look at the numbers uh, comparison, you want to look at historical average. Uh, mm -hmm. The number of tornadoes probably in March and April near to slightly below uh, the average what we're forecasting. Now, keep in mind, we take into a lot of account past years, research is really put into this, uh, this chart, but don't look at the actual numbers. Look at the comparisons to the historical average. Now, as you get later into the season, I think that's when the setup is much better to see tornadoes. Now, I can't rule out severe weather reports being about mm -hmm. average, but probably for the spring, slightly below on the tornado output. Now, in terms of where we could see tornadoes, you know, really good information yes. here in terms of that late spring issue. But what about the locations that we're concerned about here? You know, you know, kind of traditional, Christina, uh, you know, moving from the Gulf Coast and expanding out towards the Ohio Valley and also into Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley should start to light up this year based on what we showed on the storm tracks. But here's the thing. We've seen a few outbreaks uh, late February take place in the Midwest. We may have one coming up later next week. I think Bernie and Joe are going to talk about that uh, later on this week. Look for some uh, areas to really start taking off uh, as we get into the month of uh, late April into May. I think, again, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and the Missouri will be the target areas.